I did a couple of examples of these uh, factoring quadratics with the negative coefficients in the other video using uh, just sort of that guess and check method. So I'm going to do a couple of examples here using the uh, uh, three check or the, the check system, the three checks. And I want to use an example or a problem that was actually sent in by a young lady named Clara who said that uh, she had done or uh, solved the problem that's given here on the screen, negative 5x squared plus 2x plus 3 equals 0 for x. And she came up with x equals 3 fifths and negative 1. But uh, she was, uh, and I'm not sure who told her, someone told her that it should have been negative 3 fifths and positive 1. And she said she didn't think that was right and wasn't quite, wasn't quite sure why. So we're going to go through this step by step and see what we come up with. And we'll use that, uh, first thing we're going to do actually here is multiply everything through by negative 1. Because that's going to make our leading coefficient positive. So let's multiply everything by negative 1 and we'll get 5x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0 because 0 times negative 1 is still 0. And then we'll use our three checks. So we need two things that multiply to be 5x squared. So that would be 5x and x. And then we need, that's our first check, and then we need two things that multiply to be negative 3. Well, 3 is prime, so that's either going to have to be positive 3 and negative 1, or negative 3 and positive 1. Those are the only things that will multiply to be 3. Then what we need are two numbers that add up to be negative 2 when we cross multiply. So let's see what happens here. We have our first check, our second check, and our third check then would be to multiply diagonally. So we'd have 5x times negative 1 would be negative 5x, and x times positive 3 would be positive 3x. Looks like we hit it on our first shot there. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. So yeah, it's positive 3 and negative 1 and 5x and x. So we read our answer straight across. And we get 5x plus 3 and x minus 1. x minus 1 equals 0. And then we need our two numbers that will make either this equal to 0 or this equal to 0. This one's pretty easy. x minus 1. x would need to be 1 to make that equal to 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0. So positive 1 is one of the answers. And then 5x plus 3 equals 0. So we'll move 3 to the other side and we'll get 5x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 3 fifths. So yeah, Clara, I hate to say it, but I think whoever told you it was negative 3 fifths and positive 1, I would have to agree with them. Now, my guess might be what would happen if you had done this the other way. What if you had negative 3 and positive 1? Then you'd have positive 5x and negative 3x. You'd have positive 2x. So it may be that you had switched these two numbers right here, Clara. And that had given you a, a positive answer in the middle, but because you knew you were looking for 2, it just sort of slipped by you there. But I would say that uh, yeah, negative 3 fifths and positive 1 is the correct answer.